Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video I'm gonna leave Phuket and I'm gonna head to Bangkok with a motorbike. But no, I'm not gonna drive because I've done the Phuket Bangkok so many times with a motorbike and I'm a little bit bored so I decided to put my motorbike on this little truck and ship it over to Bangkok. I'm gonna catch a flight to Bangkok and then we're gonna explore Bangkok by motorbike. We are driving around, I will bring you to the Bangkok Motor Expo and we're also gonna check out the beautiful Ayutthaya. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. All right guys, I'm sending the motorbike from Phuket to Bangkok. It's gonna arrive in uh, two days and I'm paying 3,000 baht just because it's a big bike. If it's a smaller bike, it can be 2,000 or 2,500 baht. If you want to use this service, they're really good. I've, I've used them already three or four times and they're really good. This is their ID line and phone number. <laughs> it cannot fit, you see? But then they're gonna deliver this scooter in Rawai now and then they will put it this way and then I think it will fit. Let's see if it will uh, arrive in Bangkok in one piece. Over the years, I've asked so many companies and some of them, they give me some crazy prices, even like 15,000 baht, 20,000 baht, Phuket to Bangkok. And this has been one of the cheapest one. When I had my Kawasaki, I used the service maybe two or three or four times. And I used to pay just 2,500. Now it's a bigger bike and it's 3,000. But they're really good and really reliable. It just takes two days. And actually, if you want to send things to other destinations, Chiang Mai, Pattaya, anywhere, they can do the service. Not only motorbike, but also furniture, bed, or whatever you need to send across Thailand. They're really good guys. Okay, finish. Okay, Hapun Khab, Hapun Khab. See you in Bangkok. Tomorrow, Bangkok. Yeah, okay. See you in Bangkok. Bye bye. Bye, Khab. invited by Ascot Embassy Hotel here in Bangkok for a couple of days so we're going to check in there see the hotel and then I will bring you with me on some uh, Bangkok adventure let's go Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh wow! What a place. So beautiful. Ah, uh, here you have the bathroom. Wow! Look at this bathroom. Massive mirror. <laughs> nice. The delivery just called me and said that they're gonna be in my hotel in 20 minutes with a motorbike. So the bike has arrived in Bangkok. I'm just rushing to the hotel now to, to meet them there. In Bangkok, during the weekdays, starting from 4 p.m. is like a rush hour. 4 p.m. to like 7, 8 p.m. It's like completely busy and so many cars, so much traffic. I cannot wait to take the motorbike and go for an evening ride around Bangkok in night time. I'm super excited like a baby. There it is, the beast. <laughs> this boat. Oh wow. This uh, Bangkok? Hmm. Ah, Bangkok. On top? Shy. Oh wow. <laughs> Song. So she put two boats on top of the motorbike there. <laughs> so 
All right, we made it. It's so heavy, you know. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. All right guys, the breakfast was delicious. It's time to hit the road, get my motorbike. First thing first, I want to wash it. I will bring it to my favorite place in Sukhumvit. So while we wait, we walk around Sukhumvit and I will tell you my future plans because a very nice road trip is about to begin. Let's go. So every time I'm in Bangkok with the motorbike, I come here to wash the bike because they're very professional, they're very quick. They're gonna take only 20 minutes to wash my bike and they're very cheap. I just pay 180 baht to wash it and it's a big bike, you know. I try other one, the most popular is Sumo Bike Wash but it was like 350 baht and it took like one hour. I'm really happy with them to be honest. It's called Sukhumvit 23 Car Wash. Obviously it's on Sukhumvit 23. But let's talk now about my future plans because I'm washing the bike for a reason because very soon I'm leaving Bangkok and I start a nice road trip all the way north. So of course I'm gonna bring you with me. We are gonna slowly make our way north all the way up to Chiang Mai and then we'll see. If I have enough time, I will do the Mai Hong Song loop. I've done it already many times. Just last year, 2021, I've done it twice. One time with the Kawasaki 800 and one time together with Ploy on the Africa Twin. But it's always beautiful to do the Mai Hong Song loop. So if I have time, I'll do it. If not, maybe I'll do it again in January when I come back in the north of Thailand. But after Chiang Mai, I'm gonna bring you to a new country and we're gonna do some nice exploration and some nice adventure with the motorbike as well so stay tuned for that i'm not gonna tell you the country yet because that's gonna be a surprise keep the change morning guys from Bangkok today it's a beautiful sunny day and because I have the motorbike with me I want to take full advantage of it so first we're gonna quickly fly the drone here because it's beautiful and then we're gonna drive to the Bangkok Motor Expo which is in the impact arena about like 45 minutes from the city center of Bangkok and after that I would love to go to Ayutthaya it's about one hour more so in total two hours from here and it's the ancient capital of Thailand and one of the most incredible places in the world so I'm excited to bring you there let's go Guys, did you see that? So, so beautiful. Today is such a beautiful, clear day with all these huge skyscrapers, uh, the Icon Siam there, the Hilton Millennium, the Buan Tower over here. All right, let's go now to the Moto Expo and then to Ayutthaya. Oh, not easy, very hard. 
You are very good, huh? Wow, guys, that was intense. You know, I always see the Thai playing this sport. I always wanted to try. And I can tell you, it's not the same as the football. It's kind of similar, but the, the ball is hard, you know? So it's, it took me a while to learn and trying to figure it out. But uh, man, these Thai people playing, they're like pros. I've seen some amazing things done by them. They're really good at this sport. That was a good morning cardio exercise. Let's go back to the hotel shower go to the motor expo and then uh, we also go to ayutthaya let's go how much for the ticket so 100 baht. 100 baht, okay. This can be more than like, add a number two. Number two, okay. Open cut. Use second take. One ticket. Open cut. All right, guys, made it to the Bangkok Motor Expo. I just want to have a quick look on the motorbike and maybe some nice cars. Uh, I was actually here last year, December 2021. I made a video about it. I can put the link down below. I just got the ticket for 100 baht. And this show is from December 1st until December 12th. Let's go inside. So it's 11.40 a.m. and they didn't allow me to get in. They say I have to wait noon. So I have to wait 30 minutes to get in. Now it's only for the staff or something. So maybe I'll grab something to eat and then uh, we'll go inside. Oh, egg inside. Okay. Uh, has it bad? Oh, okay. Mm. Those are like uh, egg inside and uh, fried outside. Oh, wow. Aroi, but not healthy at all. Ice espresso. All right, guys, we are in Motor Show 2022. Ah, look at this electric scooter. It looks really nice. Harley Davidson. Here we got our Indian friend, Royal Enfield. Oh man, this is the new Himalayan Scram, 400cc. This one looks familiar. 189,000 baht. This is the Kawasaki area. Look how many green bikes around. Last time I was here, one year ago, I was here with the Kawasaki 800. This is the Triumph area. Triumph Tiger looks really, really good. Look who is here, Africa Twin, Ducati. This is the new Ducati adventure bike, Ducati Desert. I really like this color, same as my uh, Kawasaki before. So that was the motorbike section. Nothing extremely new. It seems like pretty much the same as the last year. Just few new bikes. Let's check out the cars. Look how badass is this. Jeep Rubicon with the Harley Davidson in the back. Amazing. And the future is electric, look at this. In just a few years, all the cars will be electric for sure. The backside looks like a Porsche. Ooh, look at this Lambo. <laughs> look at this Audi Tuk Tuk. This has style.
This brand now is exploding in Thailand. BYD, build your dreams. Chinese. Oh, Chinese. Ah, okay. So yeah, it's a Chinese company. Build your dreams. This model looks like a Jaguar. So yeah guys, the trend is electric, electric, electric. All the major brands are just promoting electric cars. So I guess in a few years we will just see electric cars everywhere. Which is a good thing I guess, no? Alright guys, I really enjoyed this Motor Expo here in Bangkok. Time to leave. Let's go to Ayutthaya. Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Are you the teacher? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, count the step. Count the step? Yes. Ah. Go and come back. Exam. <laughs> oh, exam. Oh, that's a nice exam. <laughs> okay, come on. Bye bye. Alright guys, we made it to beautiful Ayutthaya. These students, they are doing an exam and they're basically counting the steps. And the teacher was explaining me that they are high school students and this is their exam. I wish I had the same exam during high school. <laughs> I heard that high school are pretty easy, but I didn't expect it to be so easy. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm always happy to come back here. This is probably my fourth or fifth time, but every time I come, it's always magic. Let me show you around. I was here one year ago with Ploy during the pandemic and it was completely empty, like no tourists whatsoever and it was beautiful. Now I can already see there are so many tourists around, but it's still beautiful because it's a very big historical park. Then you have temples left and right. It's just everywhere you walk, everywhere you look, you just see ancient temples. It's woo, beautiful. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever been to Ayutthaya. This is not so far from Bangkok and it's a must visit if you come to Thailand. It's so special. So to enter this uh, temple complex is 50 baht. And then other temples have to... Two hundred twenty ah. packet from. Ah, this is the package. Yes. Two hundred twenty baht, and this, uh, this Ali, one temple. One yes. temple, fifty temple. baht. Okay, yeah. So now I'm gonna get just one temple because I want to see the Buddha head over there. Let's check out the famous Buddha head. Man, last time I was here one year ago, I was the only one here. No tourists. <laughs> now there are, but not many, many. And here is the famous Buddha head in the tree. Yeah, it's actually pretty quiet, not so many tourists. Look how incredible it is. One coconut, please. 25 baht. Cheap, cheap. Easy half. Easy per. Yeah, cheap. Easy per. Easy per baht. Yeah. Very good price. Oh, nice. Very fresh. Italy. Italy. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Milan. <laughs> yes, Milan. Yeah, Milan. <laughs>
all right guys i'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this journey from phuket all the way to bangkok and then going around bangkok with a motorbike but stay tuned because in the next video i'm actually going to show you how is bangkok right now we're gonna do a proper exploration of bangkok so in a few days i will post that video thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye